Colville. That's where we're going today. <laughs> Second day of the Norfolk County paint up. Alright everyone, here's the scoop. This is day two of the Norfolk paint out. I just saw a windmill, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get nearer to it. This place is called Howe Hill, so let's get to it. Good morning. Hello. This is life on the canal. I think you can rent boats or go on a tour. I want to paint that too. You can't Do you stand it. <laughs> you can't stand it. When I've gone, you can have it. Okay, oh, super. Let's get started. Alright guys, we're right in front of the windmill and I'm so excited that I just can't hide it. So, here we go. Yay, guys, I'm done here. I think I'm the last one left on the canal. I'm gonna head over to the other side. So, see you real soon. Inside here, you will find a little mock up of a home during the time of the early 19th century. So here at Paint Out, we hand in our works on the evening itself and it's kept in these boxes until the preview day of the exhibition. I'm going to call this 22. Are you recording? Yeah. Where do you get these from? Domino's? Yeah, or Pizza Hut? Buy them online. It's slightly weird. Um, people do think I'm about to produce a kind of, um, kind of pizza supper. <laughs> we were doing paint out Norfolk rather than Norwich, I wanted to get a representative of the county and the, and the Broads is a very famous um, part of you know, England, 200 miles of um, inland waterway. And this is probably one of the better places to get a bit of vantage point. You see the river, you see the mills, you see you know, all that stuff. So it's, it, it is uh, quite unique in that respect. It, it, it's, it's slightly institutionalised now, but it's, it's beautifully kept, and the grounds you know, are really quite special. I want to go and see, have you seen the secret garden? Apparently it's over there. I was going to go and have a look at that. Let's enter the secret gardens right now. Man, I wish I had another three hours to paint in here. This forest reminds me of Bandanera, nutmeg and all. The only difference is it's, it's really cool in here. We're like stepping into a room with air conditioning. Yeah, but that would be kind of just cheating. That's the, that's the winning mark right there. <laughs> You're filming us. <laughs> Uh, Paint Out is a plein air painting competition that we've been doing since 2014. We've done about 15 to 20 events now around East Anglia, mainly in Norfolk but also in Suffolk and in Cambridgeshire now. Um, we've been running like two or three of them per year. This is probably our most ambitious year yet with over 15 painting days that people are doing. And we've had a, a tour of Norfolk Gardens, doing uh, half a dozen different stately homes and gardens which aren't normally accessed, some of them, so there's some secret places to go and paint and we've been doing it through the season so we've been painting all the way from May all the way through to October 
and different times of day. And over our history, we've painted from 4.45 a.m. in the morning, doing pre-dawns on the North Norfolk coast, to sunsets and sunrises, and to nine o'clock at night in the middle of October in, you know, in the pouring rain doing a nocturne. So we really push our artists to go out. So today has not been hard at all. It's been glorious weather and everyone has been out on the Norfolk Broads under a blue but now wonderfully cloudy sky in the sense that we love clouds because a blue sky is a little bit boring. Welcome to the Sainsbury Visual Arts Centre here at UEA. I know you've all just come straight from High Hill, or well, most of you have, including me, so <laughs> that's rather inappropriate. <laughs> Francis Bacon didn't draw a lot, uh, he was a painter, and he painted, he drew, he painted, and we know that, we know that he'd scrub it off. Uh, and he destroyed a lot of his work. A huge amount. Yes, yes. yes. Lost a, lot of a huge amount. Of his and a few unfinished, a lot of the unfinished canvases got, you can see the dot, mm. he drew in paint, mm. and he drew the immediacy. The thing that's most weird and bothersome about this work is that it belongs to a completely new generation of reproduction. <laughs> 